This is Algebra Lesson 4.1. and this lesson, we're going to be solving one-step equations. So this should be pretty simple. I think most people have done this before. It should be a brief introduction. But an inverse operation is an operation that undoes another operation. Basically, they're opposites. So the four basic operations that we're going to do on this page are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And we should know which ones are opposites. So addition, the opposite is subtraction. And the opposite of subtraction is addition. Multiplication is opposites with division. And division is opposites with multiplication. So, when you are solving an equation, you use its inverse operation to figure out what the quantity would be. So, in example A, I have an equation, x minus 5 equals 13. So, some number, if I take 5 away from it, I'm left with 13. And to solve that, I would just think about what the opposite is. So, the opposite of taking away 5 is adding 5. So, I'm working my way backwards to figure out what that answer would have been if I started with 18 and took away 5 the answer I get is 13, so that is the correct answer. Example B has n take away 4, and the answer is negative 8. So the opposite of take away 4 is plus 4. I'm going to add 4 to both sides, and n is negative 4. So if I had negative 4, and I took away 4 more, it leaves me with negative 8. Example B has the equation negative 4x equals 1. Negative 4 right next to x implies multiplication. So to undo a multiplication, we use division. I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by negative 4. And then x is negative. We can leave it in fraction form, 1 fourth. We could also go to decimal form, 0.25. So negative 4 times negative 0.25, that definitely equals 1. My last example has def, uh, division. So to undo division, we use multiplication. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. The divide by 5 and the multiply 5 cancel out. And negative 30 times 5 is negative 150. And if I do negative 150, divide that by 5, I will get negative 30. So just four quick examples, undoing addition with subtraction, subtraction with addition, undoing multiplication with division, and division with multiplication. I have one more example in word problem form. So it says, you owe your, ki your cousin $16, you paid X dollars back, and now you owe $4. Write an equation to represent this, equa this equation, and then calculate how much you paid back. That should probably say situation. But anyways, you owed 16 you paid back something, and now you owe four. So if I want to solve this equation, I need to undo this value. Now this one's kind of different, actually. Since I have 16, I need to take away 16. So negative x is negative 12, and I'm going to swing that up here just so I have some space. That means positive x would equal positive 12. So basically, I owed 16, I paid back 12, now I owe 4. That's it for the examples on lesson 1. Good luck on the exercises, and please let me know if you have any questions.